If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. YouTube, we have a beaver here. And we're going to replace the servo in the rudder. So let's, uh, let's just get to it. First things first, we just need to get the rudder off. That's what's bad, is the servo in the rudder. This one right there. It's fairly easy to get the, to get that uh, rudder off. There's my tool right there. It has one screw going straight down up front millimeter Allen head and then it has one more going through the side right here and then you don't want to lift it off real quick because there'll be a wire for the servo that we'll need to unplug like that sitting down in a little cradle right here where the and it's probably stuck in there pretty good because of the uh, minwax polyacrylic I have on it you know it probably kind of sealed it up a little bit so I'm just kind of taking a look at it right now to if I think I need to take an exacto knife and run it around the edges or, so, or something. That little crack in here is the polyacrylic. Exacto knife. I'm just going to kind of run it down the down the edge where it fits in. You'll see when I get it off. The other side, with my magnifying glasses here, I saw where it had, had separated. here I kind of got it down in the in the in you can call it the crack or the crevice that it sits down in and I was running it with the not the blade side but the other side there we go just like so now I'm gonna have to take the canopy off of think to see why the wire is pulling so tight I cut a handful of zip ties right around the receiver and that should make it it where I can get a little more length of it notice the uh, servo connector keeper very 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 good to have a little peace of mind I think I saw these I may have been on Tower Hobbies website in the uh, scratch and not scratch and dent uh, outlet store. I think that's where they that's where they sell all their discontinued stuff or overstock. And it may have been twenty or thirty of them for like five bucks. That's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> also, if any of you guys are into glow engines or gas engines, Tower Hobbies outlet store has a ton of engine stuff for really cheap and the way you find that is go to towerhobbies.com and you scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the first page and you'll see just a bunch of you know words you know like contact us and 
what payment types they take and stuff and then you'll see like coupon codes scratch and dent outlet store stuff you'll you see it there and click on outlet store and there's a lot of a lot of good stuff there all right let's uh figure out how to get this uh servo out of there i'll uh get set up here all right before we tear into it too much let's take a look and see what we're what we're dealing with here as you can see the servo is not doing anything now yeah we have the servo left over out of the uh from the pits i wonder if they're the same might be able to take two to make one well we'll see so by the looks of it a little light here let's look let's shine it behind through the foam we can see that right there there's a there's a little plastic uh, servo cover over it so I'm gonna take the knife and I'm gonna cut the decals and then I'm gonna use my my uh, my shrimp tool and try to pry this up all right so we'll talk about tools first so on the left we have the Allen driver to take out the two two Allen bolts two millimeter driver allen head screw sockets your basic exacto knife hobby knife whatever this is another style hobby knife and i've just got the blade bent so it helps get underneath things this is a new to my addition tool i think this is for crocheting i, I think it is but these little spoon things are they're not sharp like cut you like a knife but they're pretty sharp and that's good for working in stuff like we're about to do. And then this is what I, people call it my shrimp tool. I think it's for eating some kind of a shellfish. You know, maybe lobster, whatever, picking. On this side, it's got a, you know, kind of like a little spoon, kind of. And then on this side, these forks were straight. I bent them. And I bent them to get underneath things. A lot of good uses with them. So, here is our rudder, and this from here, here, and here, I think it's a plastic lid glued over the top of the servo, just like on the, on the wings. So, I'm going to try to cut the decal. In, you know, in between, but obviously the decal decal went uh, over it. Get my new blade. I, uh, I changed the setting of the camera. Look, look, the little screen I'm looking through looked like uh, it may have been real light for you. So change the exposure value. So as I was prying up on this, I kept seeing, like when I'd get this corner up right here, I'd see what you at first think is a gunk of glue, and then it was like a piece of plastic in that area. And, uh, you know, then I'm thinking about how I did the wings, and for each of the servo and the wings, they have the servo in the wing connected with, you know, with hot glue, and then they have a plastic little square that goes over the, over the top of it but when i was prying this it just it just didn't seem right so i grabbed a magnet there's some screws right here hidden right in That area in that area and with some with my flashlight and uh, 
the magnifying glasses and the camera was off. Right here. There. Makes sense if they were screwed in on the other side. But no, that's a Phillips right there. Right there. Look at that. I'll be darned. Wow. They really thought about us having to maybe having to replace them. Now, so let's try this again. Got a shrimp tool over here. Ha 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 ha. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So, if anybody ever has to replace the servo on their rudder of their FMS Beaver, that's how you do it. So, we need to cut a little more of the decal right here. I guess I could try to peel it up and then, and then glue it back down. It goes all the way up to here, so it, it'll never really look right. So there's that. And there came the servo. I'll be darn. Sweet. All right, let me look at my servo stash and see what we got. Remember yesterday's repair on the FMS pits? This servo right here, well, I bet with the Beaver's servo, it can take two to make one good one, that's for sure. Well, what we have to choose from is, this is our 17 gram analog we just took out. I've got... I've got two left of the E-Flight um, 23 gram Metal Gear digital, digital servos that they come in the extra 300. I'm sure they come in other planes too. And I have, I, I had probably 20 of these at one time and just been using them and putting them in other various projects. We know as of yesterday's FMS Pits ordeal that it's, it's the exact same size. I've got another, I got four of these Spectrum 4020s. They're digital Metal Gear servos. But they're a little different size. So we'll take him out of the deal. And I've got two of these. And they're new. I just wanted to look at them. And they're a different size too, as far as where the where these mounting ears ears are. So we need to go with our 23 gram digital Metal Gear E Flight servo, the EFL 11598s. All right, so I cut the zip tie off of the uh, E Flight 23 gram digital. Get the screw out of it. This uh this servo swap won't take hardly any time at all. I grabbed a battery and a servo tester, which we need to do that before we uh, put this lid on it because it's gonna be hard to screw uh screw the screw down the center of it when it's laying in there. 
So servo tester, I got it on neutral. There it went. Kind of get an idea. It went like that. That's how it went. Move this down here. This is how it went. So once it goes down in there, is that going to be centered? Got some gunk on the servo that is keeping it from going down in there. Some glue residue or something. That's how tight of a fit that is. Which is good. I mean, this thing is not not screwed in or glued in. It's just sitting in there with that that lid on it. So with a tight fit. That's all it really needs. Just the at the very bottom, it really didn't make that much of a difference. Go right there. This uh, two since we're over here. All right, let's try this again. So that is off a little. The servo is in there. So we need to bring it one, two, and I believe. Nope. We need to bring it like a one tooth out. Well, with that uh, that extra little glue and stuff on that, it makes it a really tight fit. So, the servo arm should be standing about straight out when it's in, when it's in there, right? That's not exactly straight as far as the rudder goes, but I can tighten that up right here, or, or adjust it right there. Yep, the, the servo arm is straight out, so... Being that it's off a little bit, you can see it right here. We'll just make those adjustments with the with the adjustment rod right there. So that goes down like that. We just now we need to put the screw in the servo. really don't need it. I mean, the, the thing can't come off or can't come out of there. Can't 
go up, go up that way. And, you know, we learned yesterday doing the pits that uh, this servo here, the E flight EFL 11598, you know, it is a Metal Gear digital. Make sure it's centered. That when we're doing these particular replacements, we don't have to change anything at the the tooth count is the same and all that. We can use the same servo arm and all that. So there it goes. Bada bing, bada boom. Put this little lid on there. That was so neat. I full on expected to be trying to pop that lid off thinking it was glued in. It just didn't look right. So I grabbed a magnet and I was like, huh, I'll be darned. Well, that's it. That was a quick servo repair. Let's put the that, that's uh let's put the rudder back on the on the Beva. Okay, servos in. So we just need to install it back on the on the plane here. Grab the little bread tie so the servo lead wouldn't uh, fall down in there and make it challenging to get out. Put the screws back in there so I wouldn't lose them. Not knowing that it was going to take us five minutes to do that. So that one. And then that one. Just kind of look at everything. This right here is the tail wheel. kind of a weird deal because the way of the plane wants to push the rod up but on the bottom there's nothing to keep it from going up so the little curly cube spring mechanism kind of gets hung right there sometimes So you kind of want the rudder to be pushing down on it a little bit. Well, I figured it out and, uh, and I've managed now. I'm kind of, I'm taking these wires on the male part, I'm kind of pushing them in. That way they're, they're going to get the most contact they can get. And I felt it go in there. And then we'll put the, the keeper on there. And it kind of broke on me a little bit. So I'm going to put a little piece of, of tape on it as well. I've got two different kinds of those keepers. That Those are clear, like a see-through plastic. And then the other ones are more like a white, like a milky, milky looking color. And the milky color are not as fragile as, uh, as these are. So if you guys buy some, get the, get the milky ones. Alright, so we're golden right there. If we can fish this back down in there, I'll have to pull the wires up from the front. Got 
and that servo takes a quite quite a bit of abuse. I mean, it's not just turning the the, uh, the rudder, but turning the wheel, and then the way that rod is sticking up, and quite, quite a quite a bit. All right, we got one bolt going through the bottom over here. So, not real tight, just, just snug. Same stuff here. Well, this product is so good, you know, everything just, everything just lines right, 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 lines up like it should. And then that, and then I've got to clean up the wires inside. I mean, I cut several zip ties. There's all the wires I need to clean up. I got a flashlight pointing in there. All those were were neatly neatly zip tied. I'll do that again. There's one of the original plugs right there that went to that multi connector board. The other one's down there too. They're still there in case I ever wanted to put the the board back in there. The radio on. We've got a battery in it. Let's uh plug her up and see how, how that servo is. We need to do some well, adjustments. Transmitter. Altitude negative one feet oh. twenty five point one volts zero amps seventy three Fahrenheit. Hmm. Let me go to servo setup and see if I have some sub trims and stuff set up in the rudder. No. be off that much interesting all right well let's adjust it right here real quick shouldn't take a whole lot to make that uh, make that happen I don't think All right, I just checked everything to make sure everything everything was centered. Altitude negative two feet twenty five point one volts. Should have I should have turned her down, you know. Three Fahrenheit. So we're gonna turn this thing in a few times. Turning it in will bring it closer to the front. And should pull this where we need it to be. I want one complete revolution already. That might be enough. Altitude negative two feet twenty five point one volts zero amps seventy three Fahrenheit. Tell you what, that was a perfect size. It was stuck. Ooh, I thought I had my throttle cut on. That was dangerous. I mean, that was dangerous, guys. I bumped the rudder and the propeller started turning. Wouldn't be the first time I've had a rogue get a prop in this room. I've had him get stuck in a ceiling. I've had him nearly go through a window. Yeah, I've had some props go flying. All right, we're going to call that good. Let's go fly this thing tomorrow. Weather permitting, we'll go fly it tomorrow and see how the new uh, servo works out. And then, uh, and then I'll report back. 
Hey, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That really goes a long ways. That, that lets YouTube know that you guys like watching what I'm doing. They call it the algorithm. And then the more people subscribe and, and like what I'm doing, then they'll put my videos in front of other people. And then in turn, they will subscribe and the subscription count will keep going up. And when that keeps going up, that just makes me want to do this. And then everybody's happy, happy, happy. All right, guys, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. And until next time, you'll see me here. Here it is.